In the previous lecture, lecture number 40, part 2, I have used the, the system.set property in order to specify a path to my Google driver, which I put on the driver's folder. So this path is an absolute path. So if I were to transport this project to someone's machine, it will not work. So in this lecture, I will show you how, how to change this and to make this path a relative path so you can transport it to another machine uh, without any issue. So let's do that, shall we? So instead of using system set property, I will use system get property. And here it is, system get property. And you will see it in here, it needs a, a string and a key, which in this case, I will use the user and dot dir and which indicates the project path of the user directory this one also i can make things a little bit easier by storing this in a string variable like so the string current project location equals this put it in here so let's test the this string variable that I have created by printing it to the screen I just copy this and put it in there and what I'm expecting is that when I run this it will Echo the location of my project size it will do what I did before starting the Amazon browser. So let's do that to check. You can see in here it's printed out and then it will start the browser as it did before. So so far so good and this way that we made our location relative rather than absolute so let's tidy up and do some cleaning in here and doing a recap at the same time so this is my string variable which i have stored the project location in here and when i used this to print it out it gave me this location so this means i don't need i don't need this i can make reference to the project location which the variable I have created just put it in here and concatenate with the first sign now run it to see if we are getting exactly the same as before yes we are so it works and now it's cleaner and we have a project location which is a relative location and therefore your code or your framework can be transported without any issues so this lecture is coming to an end in the next lecture i will be targeting the web browser challenge that we discussed about previously so thank you very much and goodbye for now